itself from west to east. Flash flood warnings from Fredericksburg to Austin to Williamson County to Milam County, where we had a tornado warning earlier. We don't have any severe thunderstorm warnings right here, not any hail concerns. It's finished kind of here moment, in Austin. In the Fredericksburg area, that is a different story. We have a new severe thunderstorm warning for the potential of hail up to ping pong ball size. So we'll keep you posted out there. In Pflugerville, Round Rock, Anderson Mill, Walnut Creek in North Austin, uh, close to the Round Rock area, we had a confirmed rain gauge from LCRA report nearly four inches of rain in an hour. Over an inch and a half of rain fell in 15 minutes. Rain, rain totals estimated by the radar over three inches in Hutto, nearly five inches in parts of Pflugerville, and over toward 183 in northwest Austin, closer to 2.8 inches. This is exactly a lot of rain in just an hour. Jeff's feet. Let's go back to Storm Chaser Jeff Magnum Seed in uh, northwest Austin. See if you're seeing anything new. And look at this. Emergency crews now still helping people from their stranded vehicles. Again, it looks like some of those people have pulled their car up to higher ground best they could. But there's the covert Cadillac sign. Uh, this is on 183 on the uh, on the eastbound frontage road, so on the, on the south side of the highway there, which is elevated in the, in the distance. And you can see multiple emergency crews, fire trucks, uh, police cars, uh, in that area, we have a reporter on the way here, by the way, to get us even more information, if possible. Uh, Nick, this is this is pretty remarkable. The situation yes, how quickly about Nick Bannon in northwest <laughs> Austin from the heavy rain. Yeah, and I pulled up our switcher here, and if you can take it full screen, because it's going to be hard for people to see it in a, a smaller way. Just some of the rainfall totals in that area, and in fact, there is an LCRA hydromet. Uh, a rain gauge right at Duval where it meets 183 and it's now reporting 4.12 inches of rain uh, there at the almost exact location that we've been taking our uh, our storm chaser Jeff Mangum 3.96 inches of that has come within one hour alone so the 4.12 since midnight but almost four inches there in just an hour just to the east of there mm -hmm. another almost four and a half inch report there at walnut creek and oak creek drive and just northwest of there another four inch report there at the pond g dam but the 4.12 inch reports from fire station 25 which is just uh, around the corner from where we're seeing that significant flooding the flash flooding that's uh, no doubt caught some of those drivers uh, off guard they're having to drive through it and of course it's a tough thing to be trying to navigate flash flooding in the nighttime because you can't tell how deep that water is and maybe you're driving up up at that area that's flooded so quickly that you don't even know it's flooded so of course if you're going out and about and we're not recommending that you do but turn around don't drown if you ever see water covering the road and it's still raining very heavily it's going to take some time before that water starts to recede and come down from where it is sheltering in place by far the best of Lee County. Jordan, are you seeing, are you able to get the ATX flood site to, uh, um, okay. This is likely going to be for the hail potential. I want to get in and read the text for you guys. We'll see mm. what kind of hail they're producing. They're saying a severe thunderstorm located near Camp Swift or eight miles south of Elgin moving east at about 35. I'll do a storm track for you here in a moment. 60 mile per hour wind gust and quarter size hail possible in this storm. Yep, hey, there's the hail core okay. south of Elgin. Let's get in on that. Mm, okay, so I already saw this on the last video. Uh, okay. Uh, Previously talked about that. Summit Street at Brushy Creek Memorial Park in Round Rock as well. We also have a new one at Lake Creek Tributary at Nash Street. This is also located in Round Rock. And now back toward Austin, this is on near Wells Branch. We've got, of course, the previous one at Mopac and McNeil. I wonder Drive what Mark Murray's Black doing right now. Closed. And we also he was on KV24 a long while back. Water crossing number 34, that is closed. And also Waters Park Road has a, water, has a low water crossing that is closed as well. So six closings that we have right now up from three earlier this evening and